Hi, I'm Dean Argent, a university qualified mechanical engineer. I'm a licensed motor dealer and the owner of usedvehiclesales.mazdatributeforsale.com.au. And in this video, I'm going to take you on a walkthrough of this 2005 model Mazda Tribute 4x4 automatic SUV with a sunroof and all the fancy gadgetry going on. That I have for sale right here on my yard. So first thing I want to tell you, when I choose the cars, I like to get down the side here like this. And I know it's getting a bit dark and the thing looks a bit blue, but can you see how the reflection up the side shows you where, like, that there's no dents? That's what I'm looking at across there. See how it's got this stone protector thingy? And the same up here, no dents. So this car has been really well cared for. It does have a few little scuffs where they've touched it up on the parking, or, you know, the, the concrete car park concrete posts in the car park and stuff but all in all it's in really good shape besides a few minor little thingies that have happened along the way so it's got the alloy wheels oh, it's got the nudge bar as well so you can nudge things if you want and the side steps the tinted windows I think that's a pretty cool feature I mean they look blue they're not it's just that it's dark they're actually really black um, and the whole car is just beautiful it's got the um, the side steps but there are a few little issues going on inside here and if you have a look there is a little bit of a wear mark on the seat and a little thing going on there and that's why it's priced like it is too i mean you could put a seat cover on that and never know the difference so uh, but hey it is there it's got all the power windows and all that thing it's got the annoying mazda beep 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 at you but if we turn the lights on we can see what's going on there it's got the two 37 k's there shut up there we go. Oh, it's telling me I've left the lights on. There we go. Better, better. So you can control your mirrors there. It's got all the cruise control and... Where? Hello? There we go. Cruise control. You control the radio can panels and stuff from here. It's a four-wheel drive lock. So if you take it on the sand or something like that, you can, you can um, engage the four-wheel drive like that. It does have the... Um... Oh, I better start it. Oh, there we go. It's got the... Um... The radio that's working beautifully. We just so just want to quickly show you how everything's there. All that doing what it should. You can turn it down there as well. So you've got the aircon, which is icy cold, working beautiful, and it's automatic. And you change gears up here on these ones. So you push the pedal down. Now the reason they've done that is because it's an American thing. These are very popular in the US, but so they can have all the space down here. But then they've gone ahead and put this big thing down here and Australianized it to get rid of that whole feature, which is a bit daft, but that's what they did. Have a look, we got the um, sunroof, which I'm opening. And I think the reason for that is so you can drive down the beach, hang your head out the window, making the ho, ho, ho noises as you go. Very naughty. So let's keep going along and show you what's happening in the back here. So I've got the back seats laid down to show you. I'm gonna go and open the other door to show you that we can use this car as a station wagon or a shag and wagon or whatever you like because there's lots and lots of space in there. So if you were planning on sleeping in it or something, you probably need to put a pillow there because it does step down a bit if you can see that. And uh, got the tow bar as well for lugging those heavy loads. Now, one thing I do like about these is under here there's, that one opens up the back door and that one opens the glass. And so up she goes. The good thing about that is if you are going on a long family trip, you've got the trailer on the back, one of the kids has a big vomit, mum can come around here, open this, put a hand in there, get the spew rag out, clean up the mess, and away she goes. Without doing this and all the shit falling down all over the side of the road. And it's always at night too, because every time we've had a kid chunder on one of the bloody long road trips, it's always at night, there's always stuff falling out everywhere, and nah, unpleasant. But they make it as pleasant as they can by opening the black back glass so it is a mazda tribute it is a tow <laughs> a 577 tow it's got the roof racks on top and they're adjustable too so if you can see there they're close together you can spread them apart and uh, put your surfboard or mother-in-law up there once you've knocked her off the body's gone stiff whatever you want to do <laughs> so have a look down this side here you can see all straight all good it's a beautiful condition car and oh, I probably should put these seats up and show you that the condition of this, oh, they pop out, see? See, you've got those little things there. Now I've just knocked them out. They just push them back in there like that and like that. And back up, they go. So you can see seats are all in great shape, except for that little thing on the driver's seat. And have a quick look in here. Oh, because I pulled all those off before because they're the headrests in the back. I did that to um, drop the back seats down. So you've got to pull those off, otherwise, 
otherwise the uh, headrest bit here fouls on the back of this seat so I just pop those off so they're all there they'll probably be just like that when you come out and look at it actually but uh, nevertheless there's your walk around let me tell you something what happens with the cars when they come into our yard here firstly we do three levels of tests we do a road test a yard test and a mechanical inspection we got the raised roof there that's our hoist we do all the workshop stuff happening inside there so the cars all get prepared to a very specific standard and i might muck around in these videos but i tell you what one thing i don't compromise on is the level and the standard that the cars go out of here at so what i mean by that is go and have a look at our facebook page i get so many buyers from facebook who come down pick up their cars i'll come from cairns or way out to woomba way west further long reach places like that they come down here and they jump in their car and they drive home. Now, if they break down on the side of the road, I'm telling you this, they're not gonna write good reviews about their experience. But go and have a look at my reviews and you'll see that all the people on there, with the exception of one or two goons, have gotten on there and have a delightful experience and super reliable and safe cars because of how we prepare them. And if you don't prepare your cars properly, you don't get great reviews on Facebook and that's just how it works. So, uh, uh, yeah, so I, I'm just, long story short, is I genuinely put a lot of effort into preparing the cars, and you'll see that with the safety and reliability you get out of this as you drive, as you go forward. You can see that we are on dirt, and you can see that there is our security department there, the cross-legged rotwheeler. <laughs> you can see that our gates are closed and we are a bit off the beaten track, and um, the reason that I do that is because I don't have concrete, I don't have flags, I don't have salesmen ready to pounce on you when you come here. So you have to let us know when you're coming so I can put the dog away, open the gates, bring the car around the front, and then you're more than welcome to have a look at it. But you have to let us know when you're coming. So please make an appointment to come on down. The other thing, all the prices are fixed. If you ask me am I negotiable, I'll be like, yeah, but why do you want to pay more? <laughs> Seriously, I know I might just, but I put so much effort genuinely into preparing the cars properly that I can't take and I won't take that back out of them. The cars go out at that level, they don't, don't go out. And that's just it. So, um... So that's why all the cars are priced as they are and they're, they're cheap anyway because of we got the low overheads by being here at this yard. So, uh, but all the prices are fixed. Now, what comes with the car for the price you see it advertised? That's a great question and I'm glad you asked. <laughs> Firstly, it comes with Rego out till, I don't know, whatever it is. Uh, have a look on the text above, it'll tell you. All your stamp duties, transfer fees, government rip you off fees, all included in the price. It comes with a current roadworthy certificate. It's got a fresh service completed, so you won't have any scheduled maintenance for 10,000 Ks or six months, whichever comes first. It's got, uh, there's another free thing, what is it? Guaranteed no money owing, guaranteed never written off, guaranteed not stolen. I'll show you all that on the paperwork when you come on down. Now, if you need help with your finance, there is a link at the top of the page that says no deposit finance. You can put your details in there and our finance fellow will come back. He'll give you a quote on exactly how much it would cost you per week to own this fine automobile. If you want to come down and pay cash, you can do that. I'd rather an internet transfer or a bank check or something like that. Or uh, well, we can take card as well. So however you want to do it, that's fine. Uh, cash, we've got to go and count it and take it to the bank and it all gets too hard. So, but we'll do it if that's how you want to do it. Um, I think that's about all. I'm Dean Argent. Thanks for watching these video. These 4x4 automatic SUVs like this, especially with the sunroof and all the extra gadgetry, specially priced like this, I'm telling you guys, they do not last long. If you want it, dive on it. And if you don't, well, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. There might be something else here in the yard that might work for you. And uh, just sing out. So if there's anything I can do to help uh, or any answer any questions, drop us a text or give us a call. Be happy to talk to you. Thanks for watching this video. See ya.